Welcome back. I hope that you are having a good day. Today, I'm going to show you how I prep for a shoot. I have something really exciting coming out that I've been working really hard on. And so I want to make sure that I look my best for it. And I thought today would be a perfect day because I have a booty day, I have cardio, full day of eating, and then I also have to like go home and pack for my trip for my shoot. This video is also going to be like vlog style and I'm just gonna kinda like take you through my day as it comes just cause I feel like that's like the best way, like the most organic way to show you what I actually do to prep for a shoot or to lean out. So it's gonna be vlog style, I hope you like that. So I'm just sitting in the office getting a little bit of work done and I thought about some other things that I do to get ready for shoots and usually I will cut out things that make me really bloated and I'll also add a little bit more water to my drinking routine but something I do or recently have done is I stop eating my chicken sausages in the morning because I swear every time I have to eat them they make me so bloated and for like the entire day um I also haven't been having as much salt as normal I cut down on the steak too and I think that's been helping <laughs> sadly so chomps I miss you I'll see you when I'm done shooting but I also cut out almond milk because I found every time I'd have my matcha I get super bloated and then I tried matcha with like whole milk instead whole raw milk and no bloating so I cut that out and that's been helping. They just went to go grab us some lunch. So in the meantime, I thought I'd do a little bit of cardio. I'm super excited to say this. This video is sponsored by Nordic Truck. I'm so excited to be working with this brand because I am a huge walker. I love adding a little bit of cardio to the end of my um, weightlifting sessions. Um, if it's bad weather outside, I'm always on a treadmill. And if it's good weather, I'm always outside. But it's not the best day. It's been like off and on raining. So I thought it'd be a perfect time to show you my Nordic track and what I do on here. Okay, I want to show you a really cool feature that comes in handy. This little fan right here. You can like adjust how much wind you want. It's nice. I absolutely love the tech that Nordic track has integrated. It is so cool because you can pick any of these workouts and these workouts can take you from Africa to Switzerland. You can be doing hikes all over the world and you have a trainer with you that will guide you through it and will take you throughout a little workout um, throughout the walk or hike or run or whatever you choose. The other really cool thing is that it automatically adjusts the incline and the speed for you depending on where you're walking. And I'll show you this once I um, choose one of the hikes to do today, but it's really, really cool. So here is me on the walk with the trainer and it's really cool. He's like showing you some stretches you can do as you walk and it feels like you're really there with him and it's honestly just a really cool experience that makes you feel like you're out in the middle of nature when really you're walking on a treadmill okay i just stopped my hike really quick to show you that it will tell you all of your stats from like your calorie burn how far you walk the time and your average pace which is just really nice to be able to keep track of your exercise before i get started on one of these i wanted to show you all of the different classes that you can take and all like the different hikes and all the cool different places all around the world um, like as you can see they have a place in Vietnam in Italy Tanzania Aruba that's cool oops I guess we're going to Vietnam and I think it's really nice too how you can just browse by the category like for me my favorite one to do on here is the hiking just because I'm not really a big runner I love to walk, but I want more of like an incline, a more like intense um, hike. And so that's why I really like going to this one to choose. So here is all the hiking. 
it's insane all of the different places they have um hill intervals are definitely one of my favorite just to get your heart rate going so if you're new to walking on a treadmill and you just don't really know what to do and you feel lost you could always join a challenge and this will give something for you to do like today the next day and the next day and it just kind of is like a really good intro especially because they have these trainers that will help guide you through the whole thing so i think i'm gonna choose this Ileska. i Elieska North Face Hike, um, Girdwood, Alaska. Really excited about this one. The cool thing too is before you even start, it'll tell you the time, how far you'll be walking, your estimated calorie burn, elevation gain. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about this one. Never done it. Sorry if the filming is a little bit shaky. I am literally walking as you can see. Um, but what I love about this is it literally feels like you were there. Just considering like the size of the screen, I feel like I'm on a hike with her and it's so cool. And another feature that really makes you feel like you're there is that it automatically adjusts the resistance, sorry, not the resistance, the incline and the speed that you're walking, which is super nice. As you can see, I just finished my hike. I did it in 35 minutes and three seconds. We climbed 1.69 miles and 335 calories burned. So this was just like a really nice midday cardio. Wanted to get a little bit of walk in, especially because it is so gross outside. This made me feel like I was in Alaska going on a hike with her. So if you want to check out Nordic Track and all they have to offer, I will leave a link in the description box below. Okay, so I just got my food. Thank you, Ellie. Of course. Um, I have my matcha. It's just matcha with honey and cinnamon and whole milk. Like I said, I'm not having any almond milk right now because I think that is part of what was making me bloated. Um, so since I am having whole milk throughout the day, I do try and watch out for the amount of fats that I eat um, and like my other meals and stuff. So I try and stay low fat besides that. And then for my food, I have this yummy salad right here. What? <laughs> Anyways, so in my salad, there's cucumbers, there's walnuts. Is this really yummy like sweet <coughs> dressing? There's an avocado. There's ugh, my mom coughing in the background. <laughs> There's double chicken on here. And one strawberry. One whole strawberry. And then they did give me some bread that I took one bread out of. Um, I probably should stop that, but it's so good. I just got home. I wanted to show you. Eh, one second. I wanted to show you how beautiful it is right now. Oh, hello! This is my kitty. I just changed her name to Reishi. Because she just looks more of like a, a little Reishi baby. Oh, okay. Never mind. Anyways, I just wanted to show you the new growth out in the forest. It's so beautiful. There's finally leaves starting to sprout on the trees and the bushes are starting to get full again. I love it. Hello, little munchies. Hey, baby, my sweet girl. Oh, my goodness. Is it a party? Yes? Good boy, Cornette. Good boy. Good boy, baby. So currently, I'm trying to get the cats and the dogs to get along because the other day, Mudra was chasing Reishi throughout the house and knocked down literally almost everything that we have and stuff was shattering everywhere. It was really bad. And poor way she was so scared um and started like peeing everywhere it was it was really really sad anyways i'm trying to actually have some strategy this time of how i'm getting her to introduce them so i've been worrying on the past couple days mainly because we are about to move into like a smaller home in a, like a suburban area where reishi can't be outdoors so i'm trying to work on getting her to be an indoor cat so the dogs are also indoor, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to get them to get along. Anyways, if you have any tips on how to get your your dog, your crazy, crazy dog to be nice to your cat and to not think it's a chew toy. Because Mudra literally has like 
crunched on chipmunks in front of me. It was honestly like the most terrifying thing in the world. Like this dog, she's a total prey. Anyways, wish me luck. Let me know if you have any advice. <laughs> I am starving right now and I wanna go to the gym. Freaking tired, but I'm gonna go anyways because no pain, no gain. <laughs> anyways, I'm just gonna heat up some frozen rice on the stove. Maybe like a cup or something. I like to have like a pretty big carb um, before my workout, like 20 minutes before. And I find that if I have it like 20 minutes before, I have like the best workout and I feel super strong. A lot of people say like, if you have like a big meal the day before a big workout, like that helps you too. But for me personally, when I have like a big meal the day before, it makes me feel sluggish the next morning. And I just found that like, I might just use my carbs really quickly. So I'm gonna cook about a cup of jasmine rice. I'm using this rice. This is the steamed jasmine rice at what brand, Grain Trust. Um, you can microwave this. I personally don't like to microwave it, one, because it comes in like a little plastic bag, and I don't think that like is healthy for you. And I'd rather just cook it on the stove if I can. So this is like how I get quick rice quickly. I'll just like put it on the stove and like there's directions on there on how to do it. So about to go to the gym. It's like 7 p.m. on a Monday. And the gym is about to be so busy. And I'm not gonna lie, I do get some pretty bad gym anxiety. And like sometimes I just I literally just won't go because I'm just like it's gonna be busy. Like I I don't know, I don't like it. Anyways, I'm forcing myself to go though because we are growing and getting out of our comfort zone. <laughs> Um, but usually when there's a lot of people in the gym, I'll do like a shy girl workout and I'll just stay in one place the whole time. Like I will do like a whole dumbbell workout or I'll do like a whole like Smith machine workout, um, or a whole cable, whatever I do. So, Miss Janet, you want to say hi? Say hi. Oh, say hello. Oh, you got a little leaf. Uh -oh. Anyways, this is how I am procrastinating. But I will be will you be my emotional support at the gym? Will you be my little emotional support man? Honestly, he has more social anxiety than I do. Like I got a dog to help me with my social anxiety, but it turns out he has more than I do. <laughs> he gets scared of people. Me too, buddy, me too. I really want to create a corn nut ASMR. Like, just listen to his smacks. Smack. Say so prayer. We're gonna go do booty day. That's what I'm wearing to the gym. Pretty boring, honestly. Um, just big t-shirt vibes. It's kind of like a little foggy and a little cold vibe, so. I just realized I was eating dinner and I didn't show you what I made. Um, this is just some ground beef and arbrata, arbrata, um, arabata, arabata, um, pasta sauce, and some buns and noodles. Babe, how do you like it? It was delicious, as always. Good. Say good night, buddy. Come here. Come here. Say good night. Mr. Hello. I love you. I love this little man. Bye. And now for my favorite time of the day. Getting into bed and drinking my tea. My tea right there. Um, I have a dandelion for digestion and then I have a um, chamomile, I think. I don't know, I put three. Wait, yeah, I put a chamomile, and then I also put a lemon balm, I think. I don't remember, honestly. I'm so tired. Um, but I have a little mixture of a couple blends, to be honest. Anyways, I'm going to hit the hay. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out Nordic Track, then I will leave um, a link in the description box below. Anyways, don't forget to check me out on all my socials, and I'll see you next time. Bye!